joining me here today, my name is Chai and welcome to my channel. My goal is to empower you to shine your unique light into the world. With that said, let's get started. Yes, hi. Hi guys, it is that beautiful time again, okay? So, per usual, I normally do four pick-up piles here. You can go ahead and close your eyes, but just letting you know that the title is what is your magical siren ability, okay? So everybody has a connection to water. Um, we're, we all have a connection to all elements, believe it or not, but what are we most dominant in, right? And I feel like a lot of you guys are drawn to this pick a card because you have a connection to mermaid, merpeople, um, Atlantis, Lemuria, everything Sirius, star system, and the Sirius B. Um, even Artuvia, okay? So with that, uh, welcome. And you can go ahead and pick your pile. I'll meet you uh, in your on your timestamps, okay? So it's down below in the description box. We've got pile one, two, three, and four. I made sure that it's very plain and simple so that you can actually just go within yourself to make sure that you are tapping into whichever piles you feel called to go and watch. <laughs> guys so if you picked out this time stamp is for group number one yes group one thanks for joining me here <laughs> i forgot to put down the deck anyways it's not ever going to be perfect right so here we go but we are connecting to the mermaids today especially uh mer people and mer folks okay i like to say mer folks so we're going to connect to the mer folks and basically you have a, a her spiritual hereditary a magical ability from them so you, that means that you have had lifetime stare anyway so let's move forward i've been ranting like crazy let's see what you've got here okay yes it says consistency persistence patience the long game okay as i talk about the siren <laughs> so what that means to me um now this is a newer deck so i have a grasp of what it, it what it means but i feel like intuitively i feel like this is talking about your ability to really call forth and have the ability to use your voice to in a way attract right and it's kind of like how the sirens have this musical ability to put out their voice and uh sailors would come you know, being lured by their beautiful voice, okay? So you may be a singer, but I feel like it's not about the singing part. I feel like this is just your actual ability to attract uh, people with the way that you put out your lore, okay? You may, um, not to say that you like to flaunt things consistently or constantly, but you are not one to put that aside from yourself. Like you are okay with using what you've got to lure things that you like, right? To, to come in towards your energy space. So that's a pretty good thing, actually. Um, once you take ownership of what you are and who you are, uh, doing that is actually a great thing, okay? So, but as long as you're not hurting other people. All right, Merfolk, thank you so much for that. Let's see. And it also talks about you having a lot of patience because uh, I feel like um, from things that I know about Merfolks is that they are very skilled fighters. And they're very skilled hunters, okay? So they can definitely utilize their agility in the water to make sure that they um, get their prey, right? Their, their, their food too. So let's see what you got here. Again, the title is, what is your magical siren ability, right? Here, show us the way. Ooh, yes. Oh, wow. Look at that. Two of Pentacles and the Death card. Ooh, group number one, you guys are a force to be reckoned with, okay? First of all, let me just tell you, you are not someone to be messed with, okay? You're, you are someone who is not afraid to close one door and to open another opportunity. And you also know, right, if you didn't catch the fish this time, there will be another fish coming. That's your, that's your mentality, okay? And that, that kind of really truly correlates with this gentle force card because consistency, persistence, patience, the long game, you are willing to wait it out to get the bigger fish, okay? That's the thing about you here. Your magical ability, your magical siren ability is your number one patience, your uh, um, beautiful ability to attract things to come towards you. Um, and your ability to let go of, you know, if you know that 
something is just way too much of a burden for you and at this time is not good for you, then you are willing to let that go and close that door, okay? That is a beautiful siren ability because um, they are known to be, merfolks are known to be very, very skilled fighters and hunters. And in order to get the big fish, sometimes you got to let go of the little fish, right? Especially if, because I watch a lot of, um, I watch a lot of <laughs> fishery and a lot of um, shows that kind of, you know, deep sea fishing and things like that. And so, especially crab, king crab or whatever, I don't eat meat anymore, um, but I still like to watch how uh, the net is something about the net. I don't know. I just have this thing about the net. It's like not an obsession, but you know, <laughs> it's kind of like that satisfaction of like catching something. And I don't know why I have that, but I feel like this is because you have a very natural ability to create your own net. And, um, you're very good with communicating with other people to create opportunities for yourself. And you're not afraid to close that door. If that resource is not something that is conducive to you right for your future goals so you know how to look for opportunity and you can release things very easily um not to say just because i say you can release things easily does not mean that you don't feel these things okay because apparently you feel them you feel them very tremendously but i think that you are one of the groups that really have gone through hell and back because the death card isn't just out there for for not like you're talking about Scorpio vibes and scorpions and Scorpio, uh, you know, in Zodiac sign, we are very, um, whew. we are very adaptable and adapting, but we are also very headstrong uh, when it comes to things that we believe in, especially when it comes to when we know we're right. Right. But we are very diligent workers and, Scorpios, you guys are uh, super, when it comes to your ability to dive deeper, you are definitely uh, superhuman in that matter. Um, but I feel like there's a slight misconception with like uh, Scorpios in general because of the death card. Not to say that you're a Scorpio, may, you may be, right? Sun, moon, and rising. Um, but to be honest, I feel like Scorpios have a very tender heart, but we just know how to kind of Kind of like how uh, Cancerians, like their their ability is to be able to hide that. Not that we hide it. We don't hide. Scorpios don't hide things. But we also know when to put things aside for a better time. Like if it's something that is calling for our energy at the moment, we can push that aside and improvise. And that's something that you may actually be very good in is improvisation. And gentle force is that you, you can be blunt and things like that, but you're able to give it in a way that people can understand because you are good at balancing, okay, two of pentacles. You're very good at balancing and multitasking and that is also a, um, a great ability for mer folks as well. So if you have all of these things, these traits that I have just mentioned now, it means that you truly do have a huge connection with the mer folks, okay? So I might wanna, you might wanna look that up and see um, what that's all about for you. So let me pull out another card before I close up for you guys. Uh, Spirit, thank you so much for that. And I know I talk a lot about Scorpios, but I feel like there's a huge energy of that embodiment here. You don't have to be a Scorpio. Uh, whether or not you have sun, moon, or rising in Scorpio, this, this is the pile. If you resonate with the message, it's your pile, okay? So show me, show me. Wow. Okay, I just dropped that. Let me go grab that right now. Oh, I am not editing this. Okay, so sorry about the shaking. Uh, it says the drift, letting go, allowing a higher force to take charge for a time. Like I told you, right? You're you are very good with just allowing things to just go so that you can grab that next opportunity okay wow group number one i'm really impressed with this oh spirit said one more card just pick it out no reversal yes the king of cups i knew you're a water sign maybe this is a water sign group but you don't have to be it just shows that you are at this moment because you are guided to come to this reading uh, a little bit tidbit too what's going on with you is that you are learning how to really you're getting advanced in terms of emotional 
quotient, okay? Your EQ is being upgraded. So like, say for example, if you're in a, an argument with a person and your old self would have been really, really rattled up, but at this time and moment within your life stage right now, you're becoming very, very grounded, okay? And this is something new for you guys too because you're, you're used to going, just constantly going with the current, right? Yeah, but now you're like, okay, I'm going with the current, but I have control, okay, of myself. I am sovereign, all right? That's the that's the key of thing about the King of Cups, that he is in control of his emotions so that he can make really great decisions, okay? So with that said, I'm... Oh, I forgot. <laughs> I'm going to be doing... If you're watching this video uh, during the month of July, I will be doing uh, lives coming up soon probably at the end of the first week of July or starting at the second week I haven't decided yet but I have to set up my podcast and microphone and everything but just know that it's going to be a lot of fun okay uh, there is a video to kind of describe that look that in my on my channel and I'll see you in my next one all right bye <laughs>
Um, what else do I sense here? I sense that, ooh, a lot of you guys look a lot younger than your age, okay? Your human age. You look a lot younger. And if you have gotten that before, it's because mer folks, especially mer uh, women, right? Uh, mer folks and mer, mer women, they tend to get this ability of, well, they have the innate ability to really truly have the, um, what's called like the deacceleration of aging, okay? So you can sometimes heal your body and you may actually like, I feel like, of course, you know, this is just a general reading and it's about magical powers. So if you haven't come to that point yet, it's, uh, someday you may. Um, but again, you know, I, I'm not a doctor, but if you have been told before that, oh, wow, your skin heals very nicely or your skin really just, um, the, or your body in general heals very easily when it comes to illness, illnesses or scrapes and cuts, things like that. It's because you ha innately have the merfolk ability to do the deacceleration or decelerated aging. Um, that's something that you're very good at, okay? Um, you can tap into that ability. In actuality, humans also have that, but we were... Um, conditioned to think that we don't so and therefore that door has been shut for us and we're trying to reopen that door now okay just letting you know um but it now don't go doing anything towards your body you know on purpose i'm just saying um you know take what you resonate with but i feel like you have been told that you look a lot younger than your age okay you look very very just oh soft and and nice so let's put this aside and we're going to pull out more cards for you okay Spirit, thank you so much for that. Oh, yeah. Wow. Okay. All right, group two. Let's see what's going on here. What have you got? Wow. Okay. Lots of message. Lots of messages. They say keep it. Keep it. So page of wands. You've got the page of wands. The sun card. The five of swords. Wow. Um, magician. Queen of Swords and the Seven of Wands. Okay, so your magical ability, your magical siren ability is, you know, Merv folks, they also have a magical power where they have a barrier, right? A natural barrier that protects them um, from getting hurt. Um, so you may be the group of uh, the group that actually has the ability to, to really have like a protective aura to the point of even when people are pointing their magical wands at you, it doesn't phase you. It doesn't touch you. Okay. You have that innate ability to do that. So don't forget to do that. It's because you have a very positive outlook on life most of the time. Okay. If you find that you are not in that set, uh, state of mind at this moment, it's because you've been through a lot. People keep actually uh, they keep tear trying to tear you down with the five of swords, okay? And and you have to always kind of keep, because you're different, all right? If you are really attracted to this pile, it's because pile number two, you guys are very different, very unique, very, oh my gosh. And you may get a lot of haters be because of the way that you look, all right? They may uh, feel like, oh, why is he so handsome? Or why is she so gorgeous? Like, that's just not fair right that's the essence that you get and but you know what you will allow yourself to stay in the sun and shine okay because that's something that is your destiny you are destined to shine okay and just stand your ground when you need to and let the naysayers go anybody who is jealous of you needs to go and and that's okay um it's just that they are projecting and that's that's all right you know um Everybody has their own issues to worry about, and you just do you. That's all you got to do, okay? Now, Page of Wands talk about adventure, too, and the beginning of an adventure, right? So I feel like right now, um, when it comes to your magical uh, ability, you're actually just, you may have just started to dive deeper into a sector that you've never started before, never done before. So you may feel a little bit uncomfortable, right? Because you feel like, I'm just a page, I'm just a page. I don't know stuff. Like I need more, I need a, a teacher. Well, Spirit is saying you are the teacher, honey. Okay, look, the magician and then freaking queen of swords. You're, oof, you are smart. Uh, you're, you are quick as a whip. You're very witty, 
all right? You have a lot of sword energy. Um, like, you're so witty that when people say something to you, they can't really they can't really snag you because you're fast. That also talks about the ability to be quick, okay? You, just like the magical um, siren ability, you're very fast because sirens have to be fast in order to be great at being a skilled hunter and a skilled fighter, okay? So I feel like um, the merfolks are trying to let you know that you have this ability to get away from stuff and stand your ground and fight in a way that makes you have a really great outcome. Obviously, don't go into fights for that reason, but you are very good with defense uh, power. So if you are going into magic, protective magic is very good with you. Like you, oh my gosh, you have like a lot of gods and goddesses backing you up when it comes to protective magic. So work on that if you feel like you're being called to go into protective magic, okay? And then um, Page of Wands, the starting of something new. There's someone that you have to actually leave behind at this moment because they are going on a different path and that's okay okay uh take what you resonate with this message is very specific maybe for one person or two but if you don't resonate with this then don't take this okay um but i feel like your outcome is really good with the sun all right um what else do i see here you have the magical toolkit and tool bag already uh, assembled within your your um, bag so don't ever feel like you're not enough or don't know enough so if you are a magician or just starting to be a mage you know more than you think you know okay you have a lot of siren abilities that you you have a lot all right i will do and dive deeper in the future with merfolks but at this moment this is your reading okay pile two i hope you like that um use your mind wisely please 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 i know that you're smart okay but there are a couple of you guys that use that smartness for something just for fun like you feel like oh, i'm bored let me go like you know start trouble very rebellious i think you guys are cute but you know what it's you know karma is a real thing so just be careful with that okay not to all that's just a specific message for someone here um but with that said let me actually oh they're saying one more card oh my gosh wow everybody's getting an extra card today yes justice okay you really are so in your past life you have had a lifetime as a captain as a captain, as a judge, as someone in the higher ups, okay? Something about law, you may be the protector. Ooh, you may be the protector, right? Of your village, of your merfolk village. All right, so with that said, um, have fun check out uh just letting you know uh quick news is that i am if you're watching it during july the month of july of 2023 i'm actually doing for the whole month um you know sporadically i don't know what days but i will let you know ahead of time i'll be doing live so join me on live just so check that out uh check out my channel to make sure that uh, you get the most updated time so with that said i will see you in my next one bye <laughs>
oh, excuse me, strongly, okay? You feel things, I'm like burping left and right. This is confirmation here. You you feel things very strongly within the body. Um, you may be a dancer, you may be a, a coach for uh, the gym or something like that with the body. Um, but what I really truly feel for you guys, group three, your siren, your magical siren ability is the ability to work with your spine, okay? What I mean by this is the chakra. Okay, the reason why I say this too is because she's flexing her back and at the certain positions and points on the spine, spiritually and energetically, is where the um, a lot of the bulk of the chakras are, the chakra. So it gives me the... Um, the message that your spine is flexible, right? You're meant to flex your body in a way that most people cannot. That also means that um, whew, you have you probably have the ability to do Reiki as well. Because when I see the rainbow, it also talks about that energy, that rainbow energy coming from the palm. Um, and it kind of goes from the spine. And that's how you uh, you get your physical ability. I don't know how that relates, but that's what they're telling me. Um, you have the natural ability to really, um, what was that? Uh, it's like, it's almost like a sense, like you, the underwater senses. I feel like you have this thing where when you feel energy, you feel it mostly in the body. You get uh, signs like maybe goosebumps or you get a headache or you get uh, sharp pains in certain body parts. Uh, you're very intuitive in that way and your body tells you a lot of your environment, okay? So if you are feeling, um, if you are under the weather, like knock on wood, hopefully not, right? But if you are under the weather, check your environment because your body tells you about your environment, okay? So let's continue. Let's pull out some more. Oh, and also some of you have arthritis. Uh, so when it rains, it hurts your body, right? Or maybe you have a keloid like mine where sometimes it's very sensitive in certain humidity, right? So yeah, let's see here. Spirit, show me the way. Let me know what pile three is all about. What magical siren abilities do they have? Yeah, because you know, uh, mer folks, mermaids, they have to be able to be agile, right? To swim fast in, um, in the water in order to keep themselves protected. Right, let's pull it out. Oh, wow. This too? No. Okay. Spirit says no. Sorry. Three of Cups. All right. Six of Pentacles, Knight of Wands, Queen of Wands, and Queen of Pentacles. Wow. You've got two queens, a knight, and the number six. This really tells me that you have a lot of the home. Remember I told you about the body? So the home, so the home in itself it's basically your physical body, okay? So this is confirming here, but I feel like you have to understand your ability to really give out energy and take in. So I feel like with you guys, group number three, it is very crucial that you know anything in your environment, that includes people, okay? You take in their energy because you are constantly doing energy exchange because of the Six of Pentacles, okay? That's energy exchange. What you, what you put out, you take in and you filter through, kind of like how fish in the water, right? Um, so I feel like with you, you have to be very mindful about who you let around you because not everybody is always going to see your uh, idea to be something as a good idea. Uh, Knight of Wands is talking about taking a risk as well, okay? It's kind of like that fool energy, but a little bit more upgraded. It's almost like you've already been on this journey for a little bit longer because this is the next step to the page and page is like, I'm just starting, but a knight is like, I know enough. Okay, I know enough to go on this journey. So I feel like maybe you are not new into Reiki and I feel like maybe you've been studying it for a little bit while now and now you're being upgraded because from a Knight of Wands to the Queen of Wands is a huge jump, okay? It's, it's almost like you really, really are growing. You're growing in your power. You're growing in your magical abilities. Um, something about the fire with you guys, but guess what? You're very nurturing, okay? 
um, you will fight for your family. Queen of Pentacles is talking about that nurturing energy, but don't underestimate her very soft, feminine um, vibe, okay? She will give you the boot if she has to. She's very good um, with that. Now, with you guys, group number three, I feel like, so when I think about the body, I also think that, you know, when it comes to um, creating like your your siren ability, right? You have this ability to create, uh, uh, what should I do? Like a homey place. So you might actually be in the beauty industry because Queen of Wands um, talks about like uh, that beautiful, sexy queen, right? Or like that queen that's always taking care of herself to the point of like, no matter what age she is, she's gonna take good care of her body and her mind and her hair and everything, okay? So this is talking about that energy here. And this also kind of correlates to that too, allowing what is inevitability trust. You have a huge, a uh, huge ability to trust the divine. Uh, this is why abundance is coming towards you. Everything that you've put in, it's gonna come towards you because you've got the six of pentacles. Um, but when it comes to Knight of wands, they're saying that, remember that passion that you thought that wouldn't work out? Psh, it's gonna work out because of the queen of pentacles, okay, group three. Queen of Pentacles is abundance, all right? It's almost like that Empress. Uh, yeah, it's a portion of, so the Empress is all encompassing of all four elements, all four Queens, but when it comes to the Queen of Pentacles, it's almost like you're gonna be comfortable. You're gonna be very comfortable with the way that you are. And your body is also healing. So at this moment, you might be go undergoing a lot of changes with your physical body, right? You may notice maybe you don't hold in a lot of water like before. You're releasing it a lot easier, right? Or maybe you just went through surgery in the past and that's working out for you. Something with the body. Uh, that's happening here, but it's a good thing that's happening to you, okay? Um, you may also find that you may be coming back into being able to sleep better um, for some reason, because this is like, it's almost like that tension. You see that you see that cloud with the lightning here going right into the middle, and she she's just laying down with her legs up. So it makes me feel like now you can actually feel that surge of like energy that, okay, I know it's almost you're getting your uh, schedule intact and in flow and in the proper space because Queen of Wands is also talking about that great entrepreneurial skillship, okay? She's very good with all of those things. So if you're looking to opening a salon or a facial place or anything with the body or maybe a yoga center, anything that, that or a Reiki place, it is meant for you to make money all right, because this is talking about business. Six of Pentacles with the Queen of Wands is really truly is almost like the epitome of having a great business because it's a given natural give and take, but you're also taking control and making sure that you oversee things properly. So you have that ability. That's your siren, your magical siren ability when it comes to that, okay? Um, there's something about you have supernatural beauty that use that to your advantage you know sometimes you people might sh may shun other people who are ha or have been blessed with that but you know i think that you right because you're blessed with it why not why not right you have you know what you have so just use it to the best of your ability without hurting other people that's all um what else here uh no i think that's it spirit say it's done so okay so with that i want to share some information here i'll let you know that the month of july if you're watching it during uh, july 2023 i have um a lot more time to do lives so i will be starting uh live sessions during the month of july check the information out in my channel there is a video specifically made for that and then i will always kind of keep you posted to let you know when those lives will be okay so with that said enjoy your life you guys are very skilled and beautiful so go and enjoy yourself all right okay i'll see you in my next one bye <laughs>
Atlantis, okay? So with that said, let's see what you've got here. Again, the title is, What is Your Magical Siren Abilities? All right, so boom, making waves, momentum is building. It's your time, achievement, yes. Take this as a sign that success is coming towards you very soon, all right? You're talking about super human ability to create the success for yourself. Now, your siren ability is that it says momentum is building, it's your time achievement. You are really, 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 really great at creating um, a stage presence. You are very good with that. I feel like when, when you walk into a room, it's almost like you demand, you demand attention with your energy, okay? You're not cocky about it, but you really are very, very naturally good at creating that essence for people to be very, uh, you know, attracted to you. So you're very magnetic in that way. I feel like you, there's something about your eyes because when I see this, it kind of reminds me of the eye, right? The all seeing eye. Um, so something about your eyes that's very, um, very, very attractive. Uh, you don't necessarily have big doughy eyes, but they're very seductive looking. Like you have lashes that can kind of like sweep people off their feet all right i feel like that's what your eyes can do or maybe like the glare that you give people like sometimes when you have that like side eye i know people make jokes about side eyes nowadays but you have a very seductive sexy side eye look uh to you <laughs> that came through very strongly whether you're uh you know female or male um now what else do i see here i feel like this this making waves momentum is building there's this huge ability of um, creating the snowball effect. So for you, your magical siren ability is when you touch on something, it's almost like it, you let it, you release it and it snowballs. So in the past, you might be a gossiper. <laughs> okay, don't take this personally. You had the ability to break a family or break uh, a group if you wanted to that's your ability but i feel like because you've come to my reading you are more benevolent um i feel like in this group number four you have a lot of both light and dark everybody has light and dark but i feel like um in the past maybe you had a, a lot more dark than light and now you're changed over a new leaf and you're uh spiritually expanding and knowing and understanding and your heart chakra because i have to say this okay I have to remind uh, a lot of our spiritual uh, community here, we have to understand that just because a person is spiritual doesn't necessarily mean that they're working for the light con uh, with, alongside with you, okay? It sometimes can be very, um, a, it could be a trickster entity, but it can also mean how you can tell if they're working for light or dark is if their heart chakra is open. And if their heart chakra is really totally closed up and they don't let anybody in, then they are more susceptible to working for the dark. Not to say that this is the case for every single scenario. I'm not saying that, so don't come at me for that. But I have seen time, countless times where I've met a lot of spiritual people. Um, uh, this gentleman in the past I knew, and uh, he seemed very spiritual, but he wasn't doing anything that was, it's almost like, what I mean is that all of his, if your chakra, if say for example, if you know a person that is spiritual, right? They have all the abilities like the clairvoyancy, crown chakra is open, everything's open. If their heart chakra is not open, that doesn't mean that they're working for the light, okay? Because even uh, the, the team that works for the dark has those same abilities that we do, right? So be very discerning. So with that said, that means that you also have the natural ability to discern because remember, mer folks are very skilled fighters and very skilled um, hunters. In order to hunt very well, they have to have a very great ability for uh, echolocation and also, you know, sonar, right? Kind of like how whales do. But they have this ability to discern within themselves, like because they have a strong solar plexus and they also have a very strong spine, um, even though their spines may not be as big as ours because they have been going in the water a lot. But the way that their body is built, it's almost like they are built to become skilled fighters, okay? So when you are, when I see this right here making waves, 
I feel like you were meant to create a momentum for people. All right. So that's your natural ability is to create momentum for people and yourself. All right. Don't exclude yourself now. Let's dive deeper. I've been on one card for a while. Spirit say move forward. Move forward. All right, so anything that I mentioned here, please don't take it personal. I'm just reading energy. And again, this is a general reading, so I pick up on a lot of different people, okay? All right, thank you, Spirit, for that. All right. Oh, no reversal, okay? No reversal. Whatever cards come out, come out. Ooh, you like to be in control of yourself here because cards don't want to come out. So you don't always show yourself. Spirit's saying one more, at least one more. You may hold yourself, um, you have a really strong boundary, right? Because a lot of times when I shuffle, cards will fall, but you have like a half and half. So you're good with boundary and wow, Queen of Pentacles. Actually, this card came out with another group. So you may be drawn to maybe pile three, I think. Um, Ten of Pentacles. So you're all about the growing success, okay? look at this you've got the achievement so you're very goal oriented and i think that when you have an eye on a certain goal or quote unquote if you were a mermaid and you had an eye on hunting for your prey you're very good at it and you don't let go so i feel like <laughs> no matter how slow it takes because remember pentacles is a very slow energy and you've got pentacles pentacles you're very patient right um but i feel like you will wait it out until that farm grows pro produce, right? That's how you are. Um, I feel like you're a lot about steps. You're very methodical in that way. Um, but you also believe in taking risks too, but you don't just plant stuff to plant stuff because when it talks about momentum is building, it's your time to achieve for achievement and 10 of pentacles and queen of pentacles, all slow energy, but very stable and sound. When you invest in something, what may that be, whether that's human, uh, people, I was going to say human, uh, people, places or things, you do not invest in something you don't see something as worth it like if it if it's something that you feel that's going to give you um abundance right whether that's a relationship or not not to say that you would do things to get something back but you're very calculative in that way and it's okay you know you might be very business oriented in that way but i feel like for you it's not just about business the reason why i say that is because you've got a lot of uh nurturing energy queen of pentacles now if you have the emperor that would be a difference, right? That would be all about business. But you have the Queen of Pentacles, so it tells me that you are very, you're 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 probably like the mama of the Mer folk, right? You are the like the village protector in the sense where you're like the oracle. Um, you ha probably be the the caretaker of the merfolk family right or the grandmother essence you know that uh you know that well-respected elder not to say that you're old i'm just saying this is the energy that you give off you're very wise okay you may be a young person but still your mind and your capacity to hold uh you know uh, emotional intelligence uh you know um mind intelligence and intellectual intelligence is very high because uh to to be that caretaker you have to have a lot of different skills okay it's not easy to be a caretaker okay trust trust it's not easy you have to balance out and especially if you are the head of household uh for your family i feel like people may take advantage of you or maybe underestimate you in the beginning but when they are in the gutter you're the first person they call and i feel like that's so huge for you guys group four um but that's the thing you know you know that you can make waves in ways that people can't and i think that once you step into your i feel like see how this person's moving towards her destiny here because she's making she has made that wave and now she's going into that wave she's riding the wave now okay you have built you are building something really strongly here whether that's family or especially money or home or assets okay something about building assets for you guys group four i feel like this group is your natural ability is to create wealth as a mer, uh, you know, magical mer ability or magical siren ability. Um, so sirens are very, they, they travel in pods, right? And from what I know, 
from my uh, downloads when I first woke up uh, in the spiritual uh, community and, you know, as a newly spiritual awakened person, uh, you know, 11, 12, 15, almost, yeah, what was the year, 20, 2011? It was like 2011, I woke up. I got a lot of downloads for merfolks and mermaids, okay? And from what I was told is there are 18 different species. I don't know what they all are, but I was told that there are 18 different species of merfolks. I don't know why that number came to be, but that's what my guides told me back then. I'm still researching about that. Uh, so far, I have found like eight different kinds, but you know, someday I will talk more about that. But this is like, we're talking about like, you, when you travel, you probably travel big, okay? You may travel big. So with that said, I hope that you're happy with your pile. Um, this is your innate ability and you are meant to know this, okay? So with that said, I also wanna share some information about what I'm doing for the month of July, if you're watching it for July, 2023. Um, this is a timeless reading, uh, so it doesn't have to correlate to my live readings or anything, but I am doing lives starting July. So I hope that you guys will join me and the video I talked about it is in my channel. So I'll see you in my next one. Okay, bye. <laughs>